Hello friends! Today I prepared a very special video for you and I have to ask you for your help. This video has been a huge project for me in the past couple of weeks, filming it and editing it. So it would mean the world to me if you watch it till the end and leave me a like if you find it interesting to let me know that you enjoyed it. As you can see from the title, after several requests I decided to share a look into my life as a freelancer here in Korea. And because we have to get through a whole week, without further ado, let's start with Monday. Good morning! So I just woke up, but I will have to get ready right away to head to the German embassy and get my new passport. So let's go! Yay! <laughs> The German embassy is located in a building called Seoul Square, which is located on the opposite side of Seoul Station. And as you can see, it really is a square building. Okay, I'm back home and now I am ready to have my lunch after successfully getting my passport. So let's eat! The new passport looks just like the old one, but I'm happy to have a valid passport that allows me to travel again. For lunch I had myokguk or Korean seaweed soup together with some purple rice, so a very easy and healthy lunch. Okay, so now that I'm back home and fed and full of energy and also have my coffee with me, I'm ready to get started with the business of today. The first to do on my list today is to check an invoice from a translating job. And now I have to check if my invoice matches there so that I get paid correctly. As a freelancer, I definitely learned to take care of my own documents, my own contracts, um, because nobody else will do it for you. So I would say I definitely have become a bit more independent while working as a freelancer. Okay, I'm done with checking the invoice, but my computer work will continue right away because I'm moving on to translating webtoons. My main freelancer income, meaning the most steady one, is translating webtoons from Korean and English into German, which I am super happy about because even in my free time I like to read webtoons. So it kind of feels like I made my hobby into a job, which is always a fun thing. So for now, let's get to translating. At the moment I spend about 10 hours a week working on webtoon translations, so this leaves me very flexible to do other work as well. And I really enjoy translating webtoons, so I'm happy to have a job like this. After translating for a while I like to take a break, maybe looking at some webtoons, playing some phone games or just relaxing. And to not be too stationary the whole day, I like to throw in some home training too. Dinner time! Yay! My boyfriend and I ordered some pasta and ate it while watching a Korean TV show. And this concluded our Monday. I started today with some German muesli, which is super delicious. Good morning everyone! It is Tuesday and today I am getting ready for the opening ceremony of a group called Korea Alimi, which is another initiative by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to get foreigners living in Korea to promote Korea internationally and to tell their audience online about Korea. Looking good, looking safe from the wind and the weather, so let's head out. The ceremony was being held in a hotel in Myeongdong, which was super fancy. We heard some speeches and got some information on the program. And then we had a little party. Yeah. 
And much too soon, it was time to go home. Okay, my friends, I'm back home. We got so much stuff. <laughs> I have taken part in a lot of these programs and initiatives and stuff like that over the years here in Korea. And this definitely was one of the biggest scales. So first of all, I stole my name card. Not really stole, of course. I asked if I could take it. Then perfect for the weather. Oh, it's so cute. It is a mini umbrella, the lightest umbrella I've ever uh, seen. And we got this super cool MacBook Air bag. I don't have a MacBook, but still, this is a cool small laptop or tablet PC bag. And of course, we got our certificate. I got my own little ID card identifying me as one of the people participating in the program. And on the way out, they gave us this Paris croissant. Okay, so it will be some kind of bread or cake. Da -da -da -da. Oh, it's so cute. It is a collection of mini cookies, which is just perfect because I have such a sweet tooth. So the ceremony was a huge success, but it was time for me to get back to work. After working for a couple hours, I got myself dinner, which was sujibi, a Korean noodle dish, and shrimp kimbap. And to end the day, I played one of my favorite video games of all times, Mass Effect. And I just relaxed for the rest of the evening. Good morning! Today I have to get ready for another shooting early in the morning with a big Korean YouTube channel called Awesome Korea. Okay, so that's it as far as I am concerned. So now I just need to take care of my hair and then I should be good to go. I arrived at their office and today we're shooting in the one person studio. After some last minute adjustments, we're ready to film. 안녕하세요. 독일에서 온 엘레나입니다. 반갑습니다. 어, 엘레나 씨 한국 은행에 가본 경험 있어요? 많죠. 이제 여기 워낙 오래 살다 보니까 은행의 길을 또 종종 가게 됐죠? <웃음> I speak about a selected topic for about 20 to 30 minutes, and although I have done it a lot, I still mess up sometimes. Since I'm done shooting, it's time to head home. Okay, I'm back home and I had a good shooting with Awesome Korea. We took about two and a half hours um, and the only a little bit unfortunate thing is that their studio is so far away that it takes me like one hour to get there and one hour to get back. But still, it is a fun gig because I get to talk about my experiences and my thoughts here in Korea and in Korean, so I definitely have like a little bit of training my Korean skill. And now I actually have some editing, some video editing to do. For the Korea's honorary reporters, I'm in one of the video teams, so I have to take care of that. But before that, I think I will have my lunch because I didn't uh, get to eat before the shooting in the morning, and I'm really looking forward to that. For lunch, I ordered naengmyeon, which is cold noodles, steamed egg, rice mixed with radish and fish egg, and some meat, so this was a huge portion. Racism. Well, huh. <clears throat> um. To me, racism is the biggest show, the biggest of ignorance. Racism is um, like a form of hatred, any form of discrimination. I think that racism is something that can only be benefited by those who have power against those who don't. After all that desk work, I decided to stretch my legs a little bit by taking a walk to Sonyudo, an island right in the middle of Hangang River. This is one of my favorite places to relax and after walking around for a bit, 
the sun was already setting. For dinner, I ordered another set menu of Vietnamese noodles and rice and it was super good. So I'm getting ready for bed and I'm ready to sleep. So I will see you tomorrow. Good night! I started the day by taking care of some housework. Then I made myself a Buchstabensuppe, which is a German soup that is super easy to make and super delicious. For dessert I had some apple juice and then it was time to head out. Today I'm heading to the National Museum of Korea to meet the honorary reporters of Korea.net. It was a bit rainy, but the park in front of the museum was as beautiful as always. After meeting my fellow reporters, we headed to a class where we would learn how to make a traditional Korean seal out of stone. I carved my initials into the stone and now let's see how it turned out. Not too bad! After cleaning it up a little, this was the final result. We then headed into the main hall where we saw a robot, a special exhibition, the gift shop, and then I headed into the immersive digital gallery, which was absolutely beautiful. After spending a couple of hours in the museum, it was time to head home. So I'm back home from the National Museum of Korea. Me and the group I was with also got a little goodies bag from the souvenir shop. So let's see, okay, so we have a traditional pen. Next we have a colorful pen set. Oh, there's a top 10 guide of the most popular gifts. And, oh, what is this? like a neck pillow <laughs> and a portable battery. I mean, very cool, very useful. Um, I'm not sure how traditional these last two items are, but still beautifully packaged. So a big thank you to the National Museum of Korea. Since I get super hungry after every activity, yeah, I will have my snack and then get back to work. Mm. So good. For dinner, we got some fresh and healthy salads. And while eating, we watched the movie Knives Out, which was great, so go watch it if you haven't already. And that concludes first day. I started my Friday by having some delicious kimchi stew. And then I had to hurry to take the subway for another shooting. A Korean YouTuber had invited me to have an interview with him and I tried to be an entertaining interview guest but let's just look at a clip. 독일에서는 해도 괜찮은 건데 음. 우리나라에서 뭐 이거는 불법이다. 차이가 나는 부분이 있나요? <웃음> 야, 동. <웃음> <웃음> All jokes aside, the host was super nice, so I had a great time. And afterwards, I headed back to my neighborhood. But not home yet, because I decided to get a pedicure. Look at this pretty color. I think even the shop owner really liked the color. Then I took a bus to Chincheon, the area around the famous Yonsei University. My boyfriend and I decided to have some chon for dinner, some Korean pancakes, and our favorite chon restaurant is here in Chincheon. There it is! We decided to get a mix of different chon, and look how good they look. We have kimchi chon, different vegetable chon, and some fish chon, as well as cheese corn, lamyeon, which is incredibly good here, and some muk, some acorn jelly. Of course, we also had some makoli, ul makoli in this case, so there's honey inside. 
And this place really is so good. Look how we cleanly ate all the food. And on our way home, we just saw the most beautiful sunset over Hangang River. So this was a great way to conclude our Friday. It's the weekend! Yay! We started our Saturday with a big box of cherries that my boyfriend's father sent us. And we decided to have a little cherry picnic on Sonyedo, the island on Hangang River that I showed you earlier this week. We found a nice little place to sit down and enjoy our cherries. And we also met one of the cats that we regularly feed on Sonyedo. A lot of cats live here because it is relatively safe for them and they are just so cute. It was getting kind of late and we were getting hungry, so we decided to go eat. Onsuban is one of my favorite restaurants in the Sonyede area. They offer noodles or rice in a hot soup with meat and it is just so delicious and warming and filling and just the best. As you can see, I really am not joking when it comes to food. I cleaned the whole bowl. We got some coffee in our local Starbucks. And look at the pretty Korea-themed cups they have. After relaxing a bit, we ordered some croffle and played a board game that my parents sent me from Germany. While snacking a little bit and playing the game, we concluded our peaceful Saturday. Good morning! There was a problem with the audio in this clip, so now I'm in the voiceover telling you I'm meeting a friend. <laughs> che was one of my co-workers at my previous workplace and we met up for lunch. I had top up and she had some meat dish. Oh, the Yoshiya, the hard worker. Oh, Yoshiya, yeah. She was not used to seeing me act like a YouTuber, so it was very amusing to her seeing me trying to record everything we did that day. After lunch, we went to a cafe and had some coffee, ice cream and a filled croissant. And after that, we just enjoyed our time together, caught up with each other and talked about everything that came to mind. Okay, okay. Hi, everyone. We <laughs> Much too soon, it was time to say bye bye to Che, but I'm sure we will see each other again soon. After heading home, I took a quick rest, changed my clothes. But then I actually headed back out again because a friend of mine had her birthday so a couple of girls decided to get together and celebrate. We had a great time catching up with each other and enjoying some delicious food. Of course a little birthday party could not be missed so we prepared a cake and sang the happy birthday song. And we took lots of pictures and videos to remember this day. And that concludes Sunday. So this was one week of my life as a freelancer here in Korea. And as you can see, every day is a little bit different from each other. And every week is a little bit different from each other. But that's actually one thing I absolutely love. Each day is a little bit different, a little bit new, and I get to meet new people and learn new skills, so I really enjoy it.
So what do you think now that you have seen uh, the life of a freelancer in Korea? Would you also like to lead the freelancer life here or do you think, no, I think a stable office job is better for me? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really hope you enjoyed this huge video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!